What's that sound? Can you hear that buzzing sound? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Seriously, there's buzzing everywhere. Perhaps this is a case for... Investigation Ouch! Yes, this is a room full of flies. And no, I haven't had a bath in weeks, but we're not going to talk about that. If you're wondering what these flies have to do with modern medicine, I'm about to tell you. This is Kerry Jones, and he's a fly breeder. Yes, you heard right, he breeds flies. Kerry, how many flies have you got in this room? We've got 36,000 flies in this room. Do you count them all? Every single one. And I bet he knows all of their names. What kind of flies are they? They're the common green bottle, same as you'd find in your house or your garden in this country. But these flies are growing up in a completely sterile, bacteria-free environment, and they're eating a very special dinner. Mmm, yum. What we've got here is a big box full of flies eating raw liver. Disgusting. But there is a point to it. Why? The reason we're feeding them on raw liver is to build up their strength so they've got enough strength to lay the eggs, because it's the eggs we're interested in. Flies lay eggs, and the eggs hatch into larvae or maggots like this one. Hello, beautiful. And it's the maggots that have a special medical use. But before we get to that, those eggs have to be harvested. It's basically a manual process of removing the eggs from the liver. They're extremely small, and there will be between 10 to 20,000 eggs in each dish. Yes, this white stuff is thousands of eggs all stuck together. How long has this piece of liver been in there? Yeah, about two hours. So in two hours, 600 flies have laid 20,000 eggs. Yes. That would be impressive if it was chickens, wouldn't it? <laughs> And these fly eggs, little worm-like larvae hatch, these are maggots. Nice. Now, you've probably seen maggots before, and these are the same scary maggots that you see in dead animals and in horror movies. <coughs> but there's one really important difference. These maggots are sterile. These are superhero maggots. Being completely germ-free means they can be used in hospitals for a very important job. To clean dead skin away from large wounds, allowing them to heal. So these are... Nice maggots. Kind of. In here, there's a foot with a wound with 500 maggots in it. Let's go see them in action. Not if you're squeamish. Prepare to look away, but not yet. This is Ros Thomas. She's a foot doctor or podiatrist, and she's going to be tackling this. It's a foot with a nasty wound on the bottom of it, and a sock, so it's still all right to look. Maggots have been on the wound for two days, and now it's time to see what they've done. Get ready, people. Hopefully they've had a good feed now. Hopefully we'll see a nice, clean wound. Prepare yourself. It can look a bit icky. And there we go. Are you looking? Cleaned up quite a bit, not completely. And they're still quite lively there. They're our little blind, legless surgeons that help to clean up all the mucky tissue. So they're very precise surgeons? They're very precise surgeons, yes. Take a closer look. Although they can eat dead flesh, maggots don't have any teeth. They vomit powerful chemicals onto the wound, which dissolves dead flesh, and the maggot can then eat that, along with any bacteria that are around. And that is what makes them perfect wound cleaning machines. It's looking so much better than it was originally, because it was completely covered with yellow mucky tissue. Yes, it was, but that yellow tissue was all dead flesh. So although it might look worse now, are you still looking? In fact, it's much healthier. This patient's wound has improved a lot in two days. But don't worry, the maggots won't eat the healthy flesh, only the dead stuff. No one's going to be eaten alive. So that's a relief. We normally think of maggots as eating rotting things in bins, but it's this ability to just eat rotten flesh that makes them such good healers. Whereas a human surgeon might have to amputate a foot, 500 blind, tiny, legless surgeons are able to eat only the dead flesh and therefore save the foot. 